What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. Today's video we're going to cover the new Stranger Things behind the scenes photos that we get from Ross Duffer courtesy of his Instagram. It's been, I want to say maybe a month, maybe a little bit more since we've gotten these. He was doing them bi-weekly I think and then suddenly he stopped but they were right in the middle of filming and I think also with the extension of filming with the possibility of it being broken up in different parts and everything so we did get some new pictures finally and I wanted to go over them with you guys and just talk about them and uh, jump into more speculation of what we could possibly see this season whenever it comes out we still don't have any kind of time frame for release dates sometime next year that's the best way they can really give us right now and again with it possibly being split up into multiple parts They'll probably drop it different parts of next year. Hopefully, they won't be too spread out. I want to say season four was broken up into a couple parts, and they were dropped maybe a few months apart, if that's. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, with the way that Netflix is wanting to divvy out the parts of their shows, it looks like that is a possibility. Also, along with that, too, there has been talk of multiple time jumps within this season, not just the one where we could see it uh, pick up present day or pick up immediately after we start seeing everything going on at Hawkins and then a single time jump maybe a year ahead. They're talking about possibility of multiple time jumps where we could see, I want to say, up to 1989 possibly or 87, somewhere around there. And so we got these new pictures, and so let's go through them and see what we got. Uh, this first one is just a shot of the actors who play Nancy and Jonathan looking very scared or just surprised or whatever. So we have some shots of filming in action. And so there's a lot going on with the season. Like I said, we could see multiple time jumps. And so it's hard to tell where they're going to go, where we're going to pick up. Is there going to be kind of a flashback because of the way it was described before filming ever started? we got that a uh, little bit of the opening scene of the season where it seems like they're going to do a time skip backwards where we're going to see parts of uh, Will Byers in the Upside Down when he was first taken. And then we also got those pictures later where we did see the current actor, Noah Schnapp, t uh, kind of uh, looks like he's coaching a younger version of himself to do these flashback scenes. So anyways, uh, moving on into the next one, we got just a shot of the Duffer Brothers and the actors for Jonathan, Nancy, and Steve, probably looking over the day's footage and just kind of critiquing it maybe to uh, see what they can do with it, see if they can do anything better. So it's just very exciting because we got uh, the actor, I can't remember their, their names right now, but we got the actor who plays Jonathan looking on, looking very pleased along with Nancy and uh, Steve there in the background. So just them looking over probably those day shoots or maybe some photos from the set. And uh, who knows what they're looking at. But uh, it's going to be pretty exciting when we find out. And then we got Maya Hawk here. Just looks like she's kind of goofing around on set. I mean, looks like she's just having fun with the day. Maybe they're done filming for the day. They're just This is the way they hype up the crew and everybody. So it looks like it's a pretty fun set. And aside from... You know, obviously they're there to do a job. It looks like they're there to have fun too and just make the best of it. Because a lot of TV sets, the crew and the actors and everything, they are kind of like a family. And if you can't get along with those people, it's going to create a very hostile and just unpleasant filming experience. So I want to say more than likely their set is probably a pretty fun place to be and everybody treats each other like family and they are just having fun on set. The next one we get another shot of one of the Duffer brothers with the actor who plays Jonathan. Just kind of hanging out, probably a small note or advice session maybe after a shot or right before they begin filming a scene. So you just got them hanging on set, having a good time. Um, I'm not sure where they are at in the filming process. They have been filming since January, supposed to film throughout the rest of the year. It was originally, I believe, somewhere around Christmas, but now we're seeing that they're going to be filming clear into January. So I would not count on getting this until sometime next summer which is a bummer because it's a long ways to wait. We've already been waiting quite a while now, but that's just the way it is. The next one, we get kind of a kind of a digital uh, storyboard. We did see shots of this within previous photos, and 
snippets that were released way before they started filming, and that's just the digital storyboard that they have, and I think this is a scene between Jonathan and Nancy going through a situation, and this is just how they're breaking it down. But anyways, moving on to the next one, we get a shot of the radio station van for WSQK, and I want to say, with the amount of filming that we have seen with this radio station and anything concerning the radio station as far as the vehicles, and we've seen shots with like, uh, I want to say Steve's car with an antenna attached to it. It looks like the radio station is going to play a pretty big role in this next season. This is probably maybe a home base for the crew. One of them probably works there. Maybe they discover this is where one of the tears are between Hawkins and the Upside Down. But either way, it looks like the radio station is going to be pretty important next season. And then this is pretty nostalgic. I mean, I was not there in the prime of this particular cartoon, but I do have an older brother who was really into this stuff and... You know, we had a bunch of G.I. Joe toys laying around the house, and so this is pretty cool to see this. This is one of the staples of the cartoons and everything of the 80s, because in the next one, we get what looks like maybe a pillowcase or a shirt or something with Optimus Prime on it. And, I mean, obviously with all of the reboots and spinoffs and just different things they're doing with Transformers lately, you can't really not know who Optimus Prime is, and this is back when it was huge, and we have the actor, I want to say Peter Cullen, who has voiced him from the 80s until now, and you know it's one of those things that if you grew up in the 80s, early 90s, this was a big part of your childhood, and so that was just another cool thing that I saw. And then we get our video, which is the day shot jar with the marble being dropped in it, and then, like I said, they've been shooting going on six months here in a few weeks and they're only halfway through not even actually so we've still got plenty of filming left to do so it's uh, exciting that they're still moving along we and we're getting these little teases and everything and we have seen you know unofficial stuff leak from set we have seen things from people leaking videos the last one that i did was about that drive-by of the radio station because like I said the radio station seems like it's going to play a pretty big role we hear what's to me anyway sounds like Dustin screaming for Steve and it seems like Steve might be somewhere in you know in the upside down he could be in trouble a lot of people are worried about him I really hope we don't lose any characters this season but I think this point with it being the last season all bets are off. I think the possibility is definitely there that we could see somebody die because, I mean, they brought in Eddie last year and he was just a new character, but the way they introduced him, the story they gave and everything, and plus just the actor that played him, we fell in love with this character that we just met and we were devastated when he was killed off. And there's also a lot of talk about him coming back and reprising this role maybe in a hallucination capacity or in a dream sequence or it's something that's probably going to tug at our heartstrings something that's going to be a very emotional thing if it's not just a hallucination to mess with dustin and the rest of the crew i could see it being something as dustin somehow finds his way back or maybe we have some flashbacks or something just i don't know how big of a role but the actor joseph quinn and i did a video about this of course a little over a month ago where he was very coy about when he was asked if he was going to be doing any filming or he's going to take part at all within this next season. So I'm very excited to see how this all plays out, how this wraps up, and um, you know, are we going to get a huge battle or is it going to be something very simple? I'm hoping we get some kind of battle, but with the battles too, there's always the possibility of casualties. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. So it's just kind of a mixed bag right now of what we could see and what I want to see and just with our characters, what could happen with them. Because uh, the actor who plays Dustin, he is hoping for death. He's made it very known in uh, interviews and just different things that he would be okay if there was more death in this show. And I hope they don't go that route, but you just never know at this point with it being the last season and everything. But uh, anyways, guys, just a quick little uh, photo dump that we get from Ross Duffer every so often. It has been a minute since the last one. But uh, if you enjoyed the photo dump, you enjoyed my discussion, please leave your likes, leave your comments, and of course, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye.